Well, good morning. I'm not sure how this is all going to turn out today. I'm out under here, my beautiful oak tree. And uh, we're in the process of putting the dragon fruit on the border of the circle or the circumference of the circle. We hope to make that look attractive, but we've got our work cut out for us because we're trying to salvage as many of the dragon fruit plants that uh, a donor has given us and we found that they don't really like the hot blazing sun so we're going to put them under the tree or near the border of the tree or what you call the drip line i guess and hoping to save some of them oh, well anyway good morning i have another cup that we made and is available for sale on Etsy. It's called Hopeful Not Dopeful. Hopeful Not Dopeful. It's an encouraging cup for those that have recovered from substance abuse. They can kind of give a message of hope to others who are struggling with uh, addiction. So please uh, join me now a little cup of coffee if you'd like and let's see what happens here today the plan is for me to dig a post hole for another post i don't know if you can see that or not but that's what the goal is yep we want to dig a post hole about right there to support this dragon fruit. Okay, let me put this cup down and we'll get started. Okay, all we needed to do was find the post hole digger and now I realize I don't have my uh, tape measure. So I'll stop this little part of the video. these guys 34 inches and a half apart. I'm hoping that's a good length. So I need to move this over. Now yesterday I did 13 post holes. I want you to know I was tired at the end of the day. All right, so I have that 34 and a half inches apart. Now I need to come 25 inches from the driveway. Uh, let me measure that real quick. That has to come in a little bit. Pioneers. I, I want you to know that because there was a time that they had put all of their fence posts in by hand. No augers like we have today. So it would be helpful to have an auger here, especially since we got donated to close to 350 plants. I believe it is. 
ways to go before we get all those taken care of. The idea is try to save them as quickly as we can because they had a very, very difficult time. Surprisingly, Central Florida had four nights of 29 degrees and many of the plants just couldn't take it. And we're hoping that these will come up from the root and get a good start here once we get them placed and put the soil that it likes and the water that it likes and the fertilizer. I don't know, I think I ran into a, a, a root once again. Uh, sure seems like it. Oh yeah. Yes indeed. Uh, okay. Alrighty, I gotta go get my pruders or clippers or whatever they're called and I'll see if I can get that root that root cut. Sorry about my hair today. I just got out of the shower. Felt so good. I decided to come under the tree and start on this project again and try to record it so people could see. Uh, the development and progress of our uh, butterfly hab. We've already been at this for two years, so I'm kind of sorry I didn't record all that, but I'm not the world's greatest tech when it comes to videotaping, but I'm giving it a shot. All right, I'll be back in a minute as soon as I find the clippers. Lo and behold, it didn't take me all day to find these. My husband got me these because he didn't want his wife sitting idle. <laughs> what a gift. It does make it nice to cut these things. All right, let's see if I can. Uh, that doesn't seem to be doing it. Got a piece of it. Yep, gonna have to get the shovel and see if we can uh, dig some of the dirt around the, that root away before we can cut it. Okay. Okay, well this was not the shovel I was looking for, but I wanted that narrow one so I didn't dig away so much of the hole and have to fill it in so much, but this will do. Alright, let's see what we can do. Hear that root? Looks like we got it though. We got it. All right. So now 
we can continue digging. Whew. Okay, much better. Yes, indeed. Hard to believe I did 13 of these yesterday. Let's take a toll today. If you wonder why my husband's not doing this, oh, that's because he's out helping a friend of ours uh, take scrap out to the scrap yard and then prepare the trailer for us to tend to some other investments that we have and we need the trailer clean but uh, he works hard and this is something I can do and actually enjoy though I do get tired but I am extraordinarily thrilled that I was able to cut that root because yesterday I had to ask him to do it never occurred to me I had that big clipper I could just do it uh, uh, okay almost done You know, people looking for work, we've got it. All you have to do is be interested in working and have that grand old feeling at the end of the work day. Sense of accomplishment and a real tired body so there's no difficulty in sleeping. Many people find they have sleep problems that's because, in my opinion, they don't exert themselves physically during the day so when they go to bed at night uh, they're not tired but believe me after eight or ten hours of working on the farm here you're plenty ready to go to bed plenty ready to go to bed yep that's what I said plenty ready to go to bed And even though I'm 72 in a couple of days, you know, I feel pretty good. I think we age quickly when we retire and do nothing. We think we're benefiting ourselves, but we're not. And as I've aged, come to, I have come to realize work is definitely a gift. Yep, definitely a gift from the Lord. out there now. Oh, got my stuck. Those holes stuck in there. Okay. Let's take a look. All these posts happen to be the same size, fortunately. Oh, looks like it might even be too low. Oh. Okay. 
like it might be a hair low. I like that, I got carried away. So I'll put some more dirt back in here. And give it a shot. 